In the late 1940s, Princeton University refused to admit a promising young astronomer to its program, simply because the applicant was a woman. The policy, though common at the time, meant the applicant was forced to look elsewhere, which matters because this unrelenting astronomer would go on to forever change how we look at the universe. Her name was Vera Rubin. Even at a young age, Vera was a passionate stargazer. At 14, she set out to join a local astronomy club, but didn't have a telescope. So she convinced her dad to help her build one from scratch. It seemed inevitable this scrappy girl from Philadelphia would go on to be an astronomer. But this was a time when women weren't seen as scientists. I figured that being my wife would take up all of your time. A stigma Vera would fight her entire life. Take when her high school physics teacher told her, as long as you stay away from science, you should do okay. Vera would eventually find herself working in the astronomy department at the Carnegie Institute. Even though she was now Dr. Rubin, she still had to battle before gaining access to the institution's 200-inch telescope. The building, having only housed men before, didn't even have a women's restroom. Never shy, Vera cut out a paper skirt and stuck it to the bathroom door, where everyone could see this is where she belonged. Despite a life filled with second guesses based on her gender, Vera's tenacity held strong, and her work went on to prove the existence of dark matter. But predictably, the male-dominated scientific world dismissed her findings. However, subsequent decades of research later, much of it conducted by Rubin herself, would go on to not only prove dark matter exists, but that every galaxy in the universe, including our own, is mostly made of it. Simply put, Vera Rubin changed the way we look at the universe. The young girl who started out in a field with a homemade telescope would go on to change astronomy as we know it. And along the way, became known as a guiding light for all women aiming to forge their own path in the scientific world.